welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show. This is Q&A 39! Is it? Yes! 39! Uh, so, over the weekend was the first day of spring. March 20th was also um, somebody's birthday. Uh, it rhymes with my pal Alex and how he has a web show with Grimm. Uh, it was also Brandon Gretemann's birthday. You know, also going to school, I had um, two classmates. They were both a year older than me. They were seniors when I was juniors is when I met them. But they both had, um, hello, they both had the same birthday. Uh, Mark and, um, shit, I can't remember the other guys. But I, I, I mean, I only knew them the one year. They graduated that year, and then I was a senior. Um, and uh, currently, um, no, I, I skipped somebody. Over the years, I worked uh, <laughs> at Toys R Us, you know, every, every, um, Every every week I work somewhere different. This week I'm working at the uh, the pet vet. A, we're rescuing uh, strays and finding out where the hell they come from. Uh, we saved a bunch of dogs and cats. I can't. I, my eyes are blown up from the cats because I am uh, allergic to the dander. But dogs, I love dogs. Um, but yeah, over the years, uh, right out of high school and um, during college, I guess. Yeah, during college. Uh, I worked with a lady, uh, Kathy, at Toys R Us. Her birthday was uh, March 20th. And I, you know, afterwards, over the years, I would run into her, you know, every once in a while. I'd be like, hey, happy birthday, and how are you? And and um, she was a smoker, and uh, I don't, I haven't seen her in a couple of years, and I hope she's still alive. Um, word to the rest of you, don't smoke! You're gonna die! Uh, what else? Oh, and then uh, currently, I forgot about currently, um... I got two buddies uh, that have a uh, birthday same day as me. Um, so now there's like a small collective family. Brandon also wants to know. He dares me to drink coffee and soda mixed together. No. Come on. I don't want to die. Uh, he wants to know if I've seen the movie 42 and did I like it. It was a baseball movie about Jackie Robinson. And let me tell you, I like baseball movies, but this was a fucking great movie. And... Um, I did. I liked it. I loved it. I have it on uh, Blu-ray or DVD or one of them, and I watch it every once in a while because it's a good movie. Um, and he, you know, and he said, three, March 20th was his birthday and wish him a happy birthday. WWE fan wants to know, what's my favorite elite figure? What's my favorite Lego set? If I was a trans, if I was actually a Transformer, which would I be? I could pick two. Which Transformers movie is my favorite, and where's my wife? Um, WWE Elite Figures, I'm not, I don't think I have a favorite, but that new, um, that new, um, hello, Dean Ambrose figure, that's pretty f sweet. Um, I, I don't think it's out yet, or maybe it's coming out, or it just came out. Uh, I, and I, I haven't seen it in stores yet, but it's pretty, it looks pretty dead on. Um, the Roman Reigns that, uh, that Feisty Pants has, uh, is an Elite figure. That's, that's pretty awesome looking, too. Uh, I think they're just getting better with every wave. Uh, I am looking forward to the page action figure. Um, <laughs> I'm a dirty old man. Uh, my favorite Lego set. You know what? Favorite Lego set from when I was a kid. We had, I don't know what it was from, but it, w it was probably one of those um, outer space. Like if you've seen the Lego movie and there's Benny, the, the 1980-something space astronaut. It was one of those. They were just never really collected. Or maybe I was too young to realize if they were collected under a... Like a brand, aside from just Lego Space. Um, and there was like a command base. You know, there was a lot of places to sit your guys. And it wasn't enclosed like a lot of the police stations and fire stations are now in the Lego City. It was it was open. So you could kind of put your small transformers there. And it, it was pretty hot. And it came with a, um, uh, not a, not a giant like Land Rover, but more of a, um, like a spaceship. It was pretty cool. Um, it was like a hundred bucks, and that was a lot of money back in the day. If it was out now, it'd probably be like two hundred and fifty bucks, eight hundred bucks. I don't know. Um, which Transformers movie is my favorite? The animated nineteen eighty six movie, hands down, will always beat any of this Michael Bay shit. And if I was a Transformer, I could pick two. I would be Megatron, right, <laughs> right out of the gate, because he's the best. And if I couldn't be Megatron, I would be Soundwave. Um, maybe Grimlock. No, 
sludge. I always was a fan of sludge because he was, um, not sludge, slag, the Triceratops, Dinobot asshole, because they, um, they call him slug now, because slag is a uh, derogatory term in Europe, and they don't want to offend another country. God forbid! Uh, oh, and where's my wife? Uh, I don't have a wife. So, uh, if you know who she is, and, uh, you know, I'd like to get married one day, and if you know who she is and where she is, send her over! Uh, who else? Number 39, Justin wants to know! What famous movie, TV show, car, is my favorite and why? You know, I thought about this a whole lot. You know, there's, there's a lot of, like, famous vehicles in, in TV and in movies. There's, um, you know, you got the, the Firebird... Come here, whatever Smokey and the Bandit drove. I don't even fucking know. <laughs> it was a hot car, but it was just a car. Same with the General Lee. It was a hot car, but it was just a car. You know, um, what else? Uh, Starsky and Hutch had that red, I think it was a Challenger. I, I could be wrong, I'm not sure. With the, um, with the white stripe down the side. Even, um, even uh, Simon and Simon, they were, they were brothers. And uh, they were like the private detective brothers, and they had uh, the younger guy, the blonde guy, had a, uh, looked like an IROC. Um, uh, but, again, they're just cars. Even Magnum P.I. had the little fucking uh, Ferrari. Shit, I, I am off on my cars today. Uh, but, again, they're just cars. I mean, Magnum's was a hot car, a little red. Did you know, I don't know if you know, they actually had to take the T-tops the off because uh, Tom Selleck was too tall to sit in the car with the T-tops on. It was like, ow. Um, what else? Um, his uh, partner on the show, TC, had that helicopter. Again, it was just a helicopter. Uh, the A-Team van. The A-Team van was fucking badass, but you know what? It was just a van. Uh, the same with the mystery machine. Growing up, you're like, oh, Scooby-Doo and the mystery machine, but it's a van. And it probably smelled like pot. Um, so you get to the better cars, right? Uh, Batman. <laughs> Batman had the Batmobile. That was fucking badass. There was the DeLorean from Back to the Future. I mean, that could fucking time travel. And it was a DeLorean. And it ran, like, half the time, you know? Uh, but Knight Rider. Knight Rider, there was Kit. And it was like a talking smart car. And I, I don't even think we have that. I think they're working on that. If you can afford, like, you know, the high-end Lexus that parks itself in a in a um, parallel parking spot, we're, we're getting there in technology. But if you could make... Oh, and then, you know, Star Wars was a big... Uh, I forgot Star Wars was a, you know, big thing in the past uh, out of my childhood. So there was the land speeder. I'm like, oh, it's a car, but it has no wheels. How cool would that be? be like a little miniature hovercraft but now this is what you could do my ultimate car would be if you could take the millennium falcon and turn it into like the bat millennium falcon capable of time travel done hands down that would be my car um alan notman wants to know who is my favorite person in family guy uh do i know who the hibernian hibernian are and who do i like better jeff or matt hardy uh, definitely, I mean, they were, they were a tag team, and they did a lot of great things when, you know, before everybody started doing it, but if I had to pick one, I, I told you, uh, Jeff, I didn't know who the Hibernians are, they're a soccer team, thank you for that, and I think Brian, with, with a very close, um, very close second is Stewie, because they're a comedy pair, Real, really, um, Seth MacFarlane is just a damn genius, <laughs> Hats off to Seth MacFarlane. Uh, Matt Afari uh, wants to know, what do you mean, where do you work this week, and who's your favorite WWE figure? Uh, mm -hmm. I answered the WWE figure already, and working this week, part of the gimmick from the original Grimm's Toy Show episodes were I had a different job every week, and it would be like, ah, oh, where do you work this week? Ah, oh, I work here and there and somewhere. Uh, Teresa from last week wanted to know, if I could interview three people, who would they be and why? And I, I got stumped on this, and I had to, um, I had to think about it. So here's my answer. Here it is. Number one, I would like to interview Anubis because he would know the origins of the aliens and where everything came from, and he might even be a Martian. I'm not even sure. 
I want I would like to interview Willis from different strokes to find out what he was really talking about. And thirdly, I think I would like to interview the inventor of Dunkin' Donuts coffee to figure out how the hell he made this, because this shit is good! Talk about a drug problem. Uh, Bran Oh, I forgot Brandon's other question. He had on the front and the back. Brandon also wanted to know, uh, Jason and Freddy versus Darth Vader and Darth Maul. I would have to go with the dark side of the force on that one. Uh, what video game system do I have? I just got Feisty Pants, an Xbox 360 for Christmas. He loves it. All he plays is Minecraft. Uh, the other ten games that I thought he would play, hasn't even opened them yet. I play, the only video game that I play is um, EverQuest on the PC. Uh, if you guys start playing it, let me know and I'll let you know where I play. Uh, do I like NASCAR? And what driver? I got a nice car! <laughs> no. I um, While I will watch NASCAR... Uh, like if I'm over Grimm's house and it's on on a Sunday, uh, even Doohop, Doohop watches NASCAR. I just, I, I can't get into it. It's a lot of people driving around in a circle, and uh, I wait for people to flip over and crash and die. Because uh, that makes the news. Uh, hopefully nobody actually dies, except for that one guy who died last year. That was sad. Um, Raphael wants to know, did Han really shoot first? Yes! Yes, he did! And Greedo's a dirty green bastard. Uh, if I could be part of a Power Ranger team, who would your teammates be and what theme? My teammates would be the team of Voltron, and our theme would be Voltron, because Voltron is hands down better than Power Rangers. It's a um, matter of time. Uh, Voltron came around first, Power Rangers came around second, was like a fucking carbon copy, and they just caught the, uh, you know, the mainstream there. Brandon Sadowski wants to know if I like snow. And if I like plow trucks, plow, well, plow trucks got to do their job. But here's the thing about snow. I mean, the snow is great for a lot of things, but you know, it's good for its its. Um, uh, you know, I don't want to be I don't want to be a wuss and say the word beauty, but the way I like I it's tough to see as I'm driving. But the way the snow covers the branches, like look at these ones coming right there, like these. Like, you know, it's got this crystalline look when the, when the, when the branches are covered in snow. Uh, you know, they make puzzles out of it. I mean, it's pretty cool. Oh, there's a bridge. Another bridge. Uh, here's, here's, a good, here's a bunch of good sights on the, on the, on the left. Uh, and this is what the snow is good for. Otherwise, if, the, if it snowed in the summertime and it wasn't so damn cold, it's really, I just hate the cold. I hate when, in, when the wind blows. And, you know, the cold just blows right through you. That, that fucking sucks. Otherwise, the snow's great. It's good for snowball fights. I once made this um, uh, snowball fort with, you know, an army of snowballs. Um, and uh, it was fucking awesome. Oh, to be kids again. I don't know if I'd want to be a kid again. I think that's a trick question. Uh, next question! Balls are 30, 77. Don't ask me where I got 30 from. Watched episode 3, and he wants to know how many can I, how many guys can I bang out in a day? I'm trying to say that I bang guys. I was talking about the gut, the action figures that I fucking paint. Jerk. <laughs> um, you know, it, it's, it's really, and oh, and then, uh, and he wants to know how many can I bang out in a day and what takes weeks. Uh, like I said, it's, um, it's, uh, it depends on the character. Most of the guys that I paint are the Cyberverse Legion class size, because that's the size that Feisty Pants has grown to love and play with over the years. The Minicons, you know, they, and they, if I if I really have like the, all the time in the world, um, it takes a day. You know, if I paint a guy, I could probably paint a couple of guys a day if that's all I'm doing. But I'm usually at work. Uh, I'm entertaining Feisty Pants, and you know, I gotta eat shit and shower. <laughs> you know. Uh, plus TV's on. You know, I gotta watch TV. I watch a lot of shows. And Rob Bailey wants to know, did I like the Hurricane in the WWE? Uh, the wrestler, not Hurricane Sandy. And should they have another superhero gimmick with all the TV movies going around that are so huge? I can't read my writing. Sorry, man. Uh, yeah, I, I did. I remember the Hurricane. I thought he was hysterical at first, but he turned out to be, like, something substantial over the, you know, after... You know, 
uh, I don't have a couple of years. I, I forget how long he was around for. But um, but you know, I th- I think they I think they never got away from that because if you look at all the antics that like, um, uh, oh shit, what the hell is his name? Uh, Santino, Santino's you know he's like the class clown and you know all the all the bit that uh, Sandow has been doing. You know, and now he's like the Ms. Dow, and now they're fighting, you know. Um, uh, what else? Uh, El Torito, you know. I mean, he's a midget wrestler. You know, he's dressed as a bull, but, you know, he's still that comedic entertainment. But, yeah, I, th- I think they could easily pull off a, um, like, another superhero character if they wanted to. Uh, I mean, they got the uh, they got the Ascension going on. I mean, they're like the the dressed-up-looking bad guys. You know, they, they should get maybe a tag team of superheroes. Or even a single guy. I think a tag team would be better, though. Like Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin, the wrestlers! Okay, that's all for 39. Uh, Sunday Q&A. Monday, are the toy hunts. I will post... Today is... Uh, later today is NJCC over in Cherry Hill at the Holiday Inn on Route 70. If you're, um, if you're watching this... If Sorry, I don't know what the hell I choked on. Air, maybe. If you're watching this video and you got time to make it, I think the doors close at like 3, 4 o'clock. We'll be there all day. Uh, I'm going to do a walk around the room, and that'll be my toy hunt for tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, I make videos. Thursday, Friday, Saturday are action figure reviews, custom action figure reviews, and fun stuff if I have it. Like this video, leave me a comment, and I'll see you at the show!